All right, what's up, everybody? So I haven't done a video in a little while, so I figured that I'd be a good day to do this. Today is actually um, the eclipse. It's May 5th. Today, there's going to be an eclipse today. So it's a very special day, magical day. All right, guys, so uh, it's a good time for prayer and meditation. Uh, if you guys haven't, make sure you get out there and see the uh, eclipse. I know I am planning on definitely checking it out. So, um, what I want to touch on today is astral travel. I've been talking in the past on my page about um, astral travel, popping out of your uh, physical body, your consciousness, and uh, how to manipulate and move about. In the astral realm, right? And every time I think I got this figured out, I have yet another uh, something else happens to me. And when these events happen, I just have like another spiritual awakening. And it's it just seems like it's a never ending journey here. Okay, so if you guys don't know about astral travel, right? At the it is where your consciousness pops out of your body. It's not your physical body that's going to be moving. Your, your physical body is probably going to be in a sleep paralysis state. That's what happens to me. Um, I can't move my, my body. My body is stuck in position. I am, it's like uh, almost being like under a spell almost. You're like, you just cannot move. You're just stuck, it, paralyzed. And it's hard to wake yourself up from this state. But you can learn how to if, uh, because some of the times these can be a very intense and uh, at first very scary experience learning because it took me a while to get used to just relaxing and letting this process happen okay so i want to talk to you guys today about what is the purpose of astral projection once you're able to pop out of your body right then what? People talk about, oh, you can go to, uh, you can visit anywhere in the world. If you want to go see the pyramids, bang. If you want to go to Niagara Falls, bang, your astral body goes there, right? And uh, you always want to have pure intentions, pure intentions. Don't be like, oh, I want to go see what my uh, <laughs> my spouse is up to, you know, and my, I'm going to use this for spying on people. that. That's negative energy that you're going to be pulling into this realm, and it could have negative consequences. So don't do that. Okay, don't, just don't do that. But astral projection is not like the end all, be all, right? It's like that's not the goal. Like that's that's not the final goal. Some people think, okay, well, I'm going to be able to astral project, and then that's the goal. That's 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 the finish line. Actually, no, <laughs> that's not the finish line at all. Being able to pop out of your body, your consciousness, is actually the starting line. That's where you start. And a lot of people, um, these gurus out there will tell you about how to pop out your body. Okay, And I can have to do a whole video on that. But that's not the purpose, right? That's not the purpose. There is an actual path to spiritual enlightenment how that you can walk to have huge huge spiritual revelations okay and that's what i'm going to show you guys here today now this goes back thousands of years i don't know where this even started from okay but this starts from Right here, I drew it for you guys. This is the tree of life. The tree of life. Then, actually, down here on this other page is the corresponding tree of death. But we're not going to be talking about the tree of death today. Okay? That's for some whole other kind of stuff. All right? The tree of life. Now, the tree of life is... It, this uh, first quillip, it's called a quillip, the quillipothic path. Now, this quillipothic path, all these paths of the quillip, 
This is a quill up. This is a path. This is a quill up. This is a path. Quill up, path. Okay, understand? This goes all the way from our Earth, our realm that we are in, that is called, that is considered by whoever made this uh, uh, whole thing up, the Malkuth. That's our realm, the Malkuth. All the way up to the Godhead, which is uh, Kether, ruled by planet Pluto. So Earth to Pluto. This is the three pillar system. The middle pillar, uh, the then the left hand path, and then the right hand path. This is why this is also all throughout the Bible. All throughout the Bible, guys. Um talking about uh Solomon and his temple. Solomon and his two uh Joabs and Bows, the two the two pillars, but then there was a pillar all the way to God. This is why Jesus was crucified. Jesus was crucified, the middle pillar, between two thieves. One was asked for forgiveness on the right-hand path, a good path, or, consider, or like the right-hand path. And then the left-hand path where the other thief did not ask for forgiveness. See, this is all metaphoric. But then Jesus came from heaven all the way to earth and then ascended back to heaven. This middle pillar is the only pillar that goes all the way from heaven to earth. Right? So, this Malkuth is from our planet to pop out to our first astral projection. This is where you at your spiritual body, your astral body, is right here in your soul, ruled by the moon, moon power. And then from here, this is where you guys got to decide if you're going to go down to the left-hand path or the right-hand path. You ever heard of that? The left-hand path, the right-hand path? Left-hand path is like uh, occult, and the right-hand path is uh, Christianity, and all, like that's the path you're going to decide which way you're going to take. Now, I'm pretty sure coming through these paths that you can pop out and go anywhere through this because that is something that I have already experienced. Um, I have been from this planet here, which we call Earth, Malkuth, the Quillip, to my astral body. I've been to Mercury and this Venus side, which are going to be two different other videos right here. Actually, this is where I have highlighted my black marker, the past that I've been, my astral body have been, I have gone to both sides. Um, what I tell you guys is that being able to pop out from your astral projection experience, right? What then? Ha what happens to get from here to this or here? You will actually have an entity, like an angel, pick you up and escort you. From one path to the other. The first time it ever happened to me, I was in my astral projection, spiritual uh, plane, and I actually felt two hands pick up me up from underneath me and then take me to the next Quilla, which can be a whole other video. But I wanted to share this with you guys because this is what astral projection is about. Is about Traveling these paths, getting to the Godhead, or the corresponding tree of death. That is the path that you would like to take. All right, guys, I got to go. I'll see you out of here. Thank you for listening. Bye.